Welcome everybody and thank you for joining me today. I just want to take a minute and remind you of our spring fling coming up on Thursday the 22nd and make sure that you sign up for your free registration and enter to win the fabulous prizes that we have. Um, we're giving away um, some frames and a machine and just all sorts of things. So if you haven't signed up, please make sure you do. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention is the quilt contest. Please submit your quilts. Um, we love to see all that creative talent out there. And I know that you have so much talent in your little pinky that you could share with all of us out here. And so please submit your quilts. And I don't care what stage you think you're at. Now's the time to do it. Um, go ahead and submit those beautiful quilts and you've got nothing to lose. Nobody's judging it. Um, and well, we're judging it, but we're not going to be judgy, judgy and critical. Um, that's what I really want to stress is that, you know, you start somewhere and as you start quilting, you grow as a quilter and you become more confident in your techniques and your individual way of quilting. And it's so important for you to share your concepts and ideas and quilts with others so that you can help inspire the world around you. And so I just wanted to have you do a little shout out and submit your quilts because um, we really want to see them. Uh, the other thing is, as I wanted to stop and talk about, we're going to kind of take a little hiatus because of the spring fling. So we won't be airing next Tuesday or the Tuesday after that. Um, but beginning the first Tuesday in May, we will pick up our series. And I'm going to start out with, I'm going to take you through a quilting journey from quilting the quilt from beginning to end and how I set it up and prep it and get it ready for quilting. And I'm going to take you through the various stages of how a quilter like you would probably quilt. So we're going to start out with the, our little home domestic machine and the foot pedal on a little cutie frame. And then we're kind of, I'm going to show you then adding the stitch regulator and what the stitch regulator does. And then we're going to move up to maybe a mid arm machine and then a long arm machine. And then, um, I just want to take you through the steps so that you can see the progression of quilting as you're as you're out there trying to make your decisions on what you want or are you a little confused about where to start um, and I just thought it was really important to show you some of the things that you or accessories that can help you along the way make it a little easier um, so I this is my cutie quilt here um, and I have it on my backing and this is the one that we're going to quilt from beginning to end using the various stages. Um, I'm going to quilt them, quilt it on the hoop frame. I'm not going to transfer to a rolling frame, but it's going to be specifically on this cutie frame, but I'm going to add accessories to help so that you can learn what some of those accessories are and do. Um, I'm going to free motion quilt it. So I'm going to show you a little bit about the techniques that I used before I start quilting on my quilt and my doodling. And you know, I love to doodle and I'm a big proponent of doodling. So it's very important. And then I just wanted to show you some of the things or techniques as you are quilting. So with this quilt here, I have chosen just to not use the leaders and but not using the leaders, I've had to make my backing a lot longer and wider than if I was using the leaders. So just know that I'm a big proponent of leaders, but it's not necessary on the hoop frames. But you will have to make your backing wider and longer, quite a bit longer as well, because it is acting as a leader cloth. Then you, before you're setting up, you need to make sure that your machine is ready for quilting. Just like if you were quilting at a sit down table, you need to make sure that your feed dogs are down, 
The feed dogs are the little tracks that grab the fabric and push it along. Those will need to be in the down position. And then also you will need for the foot of your machine, your hopping foot needs to be a quilting foot or uh, the foot that does the free motion quilting. Um, it has various names, but you can see on this machine here, it's a round foot and I do have my feed dogs down. So one other thing that I want to mention is that before you start quilting, it's nice to have extra bobbins already wound so you don't have to stop your process and wind a lot of bobbins. And so the bobbin color should be pretty close to the color that you're using to quilt with. I'm going to use this really pretty mango salad. Um, and I might use just even the light pink or the white, I haven't quite decided, or it could be even gray on the back, or I just might wind all my bobbins um, using, using the mango salad. So just make sure you know that on the, what you like, make sure you know what you like for the back of your quilt. It's just as important as the top as you are quilting. So the color that you choose, um, you want it to, to show up, you want it to be pretty and you want it to have that little impact. Um, I always try to make my backs look fun and creative. And so I will piece my backs. Um, and if you're piecing your backs, make sure you cut the selvages off of your backing. If you're sewing pieces together, don't use the selvages. The selvages are the very ends of the fabrics and they're tighter. So if you are sewing to a selvage, you just need to cut it off so it's a little looser, so it has a little bit more give. And then also as you're sewing your back up, increase the length of your stitch to a little bit longer. The tighter the stitch, the more it will pull and pucker and it won't lay as flat and nice as you want it. So make sure that you increase that stitch length and, and cut off those selvages and then iron your seams the direction towards the dark or you can iron them flat open. It doesn't matter just so that they lay nice and flat. Um, it makes a big difference on how your backing looks. Um, so those are just a few little tips. I am going to quilt my quilt from top to bottom, you know, um, and I'm just like, again, like I said, I'm going to use my backing as my leader class. So I'm not going to use that, but next, um, the first Tuesday in May, I'm going to put it on the frame and we're going to start quilting this cute little quilt and we're going to quilt it from beginning to end so that you see the whole complete process and you get to, um, Join me in just this fun little quilting journey that I'm really excited to present to you. So make sure that you sign up for the Spring Fling and join us. Oh, I just have to say about the classes and things like that and the speakers. We have a wonderful speaker. His name is Tommy Forrest. He has been quilting quilts of valor for years and years and years. And he has the most amazing story. Um, and he's going to share it with you. We have you know, Leah Day, she's going to come and show you some tricks. Um, I'm going to show you some ruler work, more advanced ruler work. I'm going to talk about that. Uh, I've got another little class that I'm going to show you thinking outside the box, using your quilting frame for other things other than just quilting. Um, and then I've got some other classes coming up. We've got Lizzie Allen, just so much talent. Uh, we've got our ambassador, Janet George. We've got our primitive quilts. I've told you, I love the magazine. So they're going to show you, they're going to do a little trunk show. Uh, just, I love that magazine. So you want to see, if you love that magazine too, come and join us for the little trunk show that they're going to be presenting. Um, and they're sisters and they are so much fun and they have a beautiful story as well. So, you know, just make sure you stop and make time and then know that if you miss anything, it's out there so that you can watch it. You don't have to be available, but make sure that you sign up to win those free, um, those wonderful, fabulous prizes that we have. And then join me for Quilting with Tuesdays with Grace. And 
I'll take you on this wonderful little journey that I have. Um, and I'm so excited to start it with you coming the first Tuesday in May. So join me then. We'll see you at Spring Fling. Bye-bye.